Hey guys, Sam here from Demon Painting. What I am bringing you today is another update for my Lunar Wolves army. What I wanted to show you was a couple of dreadnoughts I've been putting together. Now these took a lot of thinking, a lot of thought to, uh, to come up with the concept for them, but I believe they're looking pretty fantastic. Let's have a look here. Now, what I'm going for is I wanted to make a more true scale um, size wise um, dreadnought walker um, so what I've done is I've actually taken sentinel legs and the sentinel um, center part um, plastic it off to give it a nice flat base for the for the, the dreadnought chassis to sit on and then I've just bulked them out with uh, dreadnought shin pads I think and then I've cut up a dreadnought close combat weapon and I've used the bits, bits around the hand to actually make more protection around the actual the workings of the legs just to make them look not so much like sentinel legs because they obviously are um, the scale works really really well with them um, what I've done what I've done this guy is actually that's gonna, what he's going to look like when he's standing flat so he's going to be um, poised more looking up probably say popping a shot off at um, say an enemy flyer or something like that what we've done, I saw it on Blackreach main body, cut down, shaved, um, so we can go through and do our own work on it, make it look a little bit more Lunar Wolfish. Alright, so that guy there is um, obviously a work in progress. He's getting there. All we've got to really do is uh, attach the guns on and do the rest of the work on the actual on the main chassis of it. This guy here is a little bit closer to completion. Um, same again. He's in a more of a walking stance with these legs. Um, his center console's been done, and he has had his guns attached. Now, what these are? These are from Max Mini. I think these guns. I'll have to check that out for you again guys and put it in the description below. But these are an awesome, awesome gun combination for a walker. They are, obviously they incorporate like a big pre heresy shoulder pad and then obviously your twin linked auto cannons. Now these, I haven't modified these at all. This is what they come like and they are dead straight. I don't know if you guys have dealt with Forge World much before but that's a bit of an oddity from them. Um, so they're really nice to work with. Being that they just show up, you can just chuck some glue on them, chuck them straight on. They do a whole variety of these weapons as well. They do close combat weapons, they do um, heavy bolters, they do plasma cannons, they do a whole range of stuff. I'm loving the, the twin linked auto cannons at the moment. I may be proxying these, this army for Grey Knights a little bit later on. Um, just so I can play it in standard 40k games. Alright, uh, I also wanted to show you a little bit of scale on these guys so you get an idea, if I can fit them on screen, of how much bigger they are than a standard dreadnought. You get a base idea just from looking at it, but here we have my Death Guard dreadnought and you can see, I'll try and get them on the same plane, he is standing a lot taller. The perk on this is obviously he looks more to scale, he looks large, like a big walker should be next to a, uh, a standard infantry infantryman. Um, there is a downside that there is better line of sight for other people when they're shooting him, but it works both ways so he can actually, he's got better line of sight as well. Um, so that's, that's the scale with a standard dreadnought, and then we have just next to our, this is this is going to be my man just for, for showing scale, this is uh, Aximand, basically comes up to just beneath his, just beneath where his uh, leg joints are. So that's your basic scale on these guys. Um, that's pretty much it guys, what I'm going to do again, once these are all finished up, I'll bring you back with some more uh, update details on them. Thank you very much for watching, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.